Welcome everyone to another episode of Fate Grand Order Servant War Room. This is Georgie Gale, and I'll be discussing how your favorite servants would handle an actual Holy Grail War. Because you never know, maybe one day you're walking down the street and BAM! Banana! <laughs> Rama is a four-star server servant, first released with the North American Singularity. So far from this video was recorded, Rama has only appeared in the North American Singularity, although he'll soon make a comeback in the upcoming Indian Lost Belt. Rama acted as an important character in the North American Singularity and was essentially the main character's party most powerful member. But how good would he be in an actual Holy Grail War? Rama has an interesting personality. He is the pinnacle of justice and acts accordingly to his beliefs, opposing those he views as evil. His personality is both wise and childish, having the wisdom of a great sage, but also the temperament of a young boy full of desire for adventure. That said, his personality will be challenging at first, as he'll be purposely arrogant towards you. However, you shouldn't take any of his remarks personally. Ultimately, so long as you're not evil, Rama will see you as a comrade in arms. Rama is also extremely devoted to his wife, to the point of even weakening himself just for a chance to see her. His wish for the Grail is very simple too, to break the curse that separates himself and his wife so that they may one day meet each other. As you can see, Rama is a pretty good guy with a simple wish. So in general, you should be fine with Rama. Rama stats or Bonkers. Normally you would only find stats like these on Berserkers thanks to their mad enhancement buff, but Rama has these completely natural. As for skills, Rama has 6 skills, a good number for savers. He has Magic Resistance Rank A. Rama is immune to any mage crap thrown at him that's Rank A or below. Yes, even Rank A Magecraft will be nullified by him. Man, casters sure have it rough, don't they? Riding rank A+. Rama can ride pretty much anything with the exception of dragons. Divinity rank A. Rama Divinity is pretty high, giving him several bonuses when facing unique defenses. Blessing of Martial Arts rank A. Despite being a saber, Rama shows excellent proficiency in all forms of weaponry. If given a bow or spear, he would be able to perform as an archer or lancer just as well as a saber. Charisma Rank B Rama is a charismatic leader that increases the performance of those he leads. Curse of Separation Rank A The curse that keeps Rama away from Sita. This skill has no practical purpose in a war, other than serving as motivation for Rama to keep moving forward towards his wish. As for Noble Phantoms, Rama has two Noble Phantoms. Technically, he has more, but we'll get there. Brahmastra It's Rama's iconic Noble Phantom in FGO. Although originally it was supposed to be a narrow, Rama turned it into a sword, to serve him better as a saber. Despite being a sword now, its nature as a projectile remains as Rama throws it at enemies when activating it. It's an anti-demonic noble phantom whose true power only comes out when facing demonic enemies, capable of blowing away most of them. However, when against non-demonic enemies, its power is greatly reduced. Finally, his second noble phantom, Vishnu Puja. It's a collection of several legendary weapons gifted to him by the sage Vishwamitra. Although the weapons don't have an explanation to their powers, the Noble Phantom explains that each weapon is designed to deal with different gods and demons, so it's likely that all of them have unique passive or active abilities for different opponents. 
chakrams, a javelin, two clubs, a trident, a bow and many more. All of these weapons essentially operate as quasi noble phantoms, meaning that despite being a saber, Ram is actually more of a combination of a saber, lancer and archer. Overall, Rama comes out as an excellent fighter and duelist, with good versatility as well as good skills and stats, however he does seem to lack a bit on the firepower department. Duelist Rama is a good duelist with mastery on multiple weapons as well as also carrying multiple weapons. Rama can very easily overwhelm seasoned servants by simply switching his weapon every so often during a fight, leaving his opponent guessing on the weapon's ability. More durable than he looks Despite only having a rank B endurance and having no survivability skill, Rama managed to survive a gay bulk to the heart. For reference, Arturia needed plot armor to not die from gay bulk. Meanwhile, Rama took it like a champ and survived to tell the tale. That said, don't think just because he survived once he could do it again. At the time, his willpower was what saved him, but that was only because he knew his wife Sita was around. In a Holy Grail War, where Sita isn't around, it's unlikely Rama will have the same amount of willpower to survive another blow like that. Not in his best class. Rama's best class is that of an archer. However, Rama will never allow himself to be summoned as an archer. This is because his wife Sita, if ever summoned, would be summoned as an archer. So despite his curse, on the off chance that she summoned, he chose to be a saber. That way, he won't occupy the only class Sita could be summoned as. Now that's some devotion. Lack of firepower, while Brahmastra will be enough to deal with any demonic creature against other type of powerful and bulkier enemies, Rama will find himself lacking. This doesn't mean he can't beat them, but he'll definitely have a harder time. On to the strategies. So how is the best way to use Rama? Rama can use multiple weapons at the same time. So early on you can try and fool other enemies by having Rama use different weapons from his arsenal. This will leave your enemies guessing on his class while most servants are still unknown. Rama is also primarily a duelist. While he's strong enough to deal with multiple average servants, it's best to keep to one on one fights. Rama has difficulty dealing with bulkier enemies, as shown when facing Cuckoo Lane Altar. So if in a fight you feel that the enemy is too tanky or durable, don't be shy of retreating. While Rama's show off personality won't be happy, it's best to retreat and replan your approach on the tankier enemy. His archer proficiency also makes him a good at sniping enemies, although it's unlikely that Rama will ever agree on shooting an enemy master unless said enemy master is a evil person. Overall, there's not much specific strategies for Rama. Just a typical collect information on enemies and act accordingly on what you find out. Since Rama is a good duelist, you can have him fight most enemies with a good chance of either winning or being able to retreat to scout the enemy's servants and masters. Against tankier enemies though, don't hesitate on finding an ally. Rama is a pretty efficient servant. In many ways he reminds me of Dion. He has high stats with good combat skills and noble phantoms, but with a surprising lack of firepower against bigger enemies. While I'm sure that as an archer, Rama would be a complete powerhouse, as a saver his overall power is traded for efficiency. As such, I'll give Rama an A rank. While not the flashiest, Rama can very easily overwhelm many enemies with stats and skills alone. Add in his large arsenal that he can pull at any moment and even top tier servants will feel overwhelmed when fighting him. However, I can't put him any higher. His lack of firepower puts him at a great disadvantage against powerful noble phantoms, such as summons, defenses and even offensive noble phantoms. Overall, if you do summon Rama, you should be pretty happy and safe. Now it's up to you to plan your route to victory.
And that was Rama. Thank you, Stray Merodash, for the suggestion. Um, yeah, that was Rama. Pretty solid servant. Uh, was not expecting the high stats, but I'll be honest, whenever I hear Indian Servant, I'm already expecting something insane. Um, I mean, when you when you have Karna and Arjuna as examples of Indian Servants, then any other Indian Servant is... I, I immediately, my first reaction is, oh, he must be insane. He must be super powerful. Um, and, uh, and Rama, while not having the firepower that I expected him to have, um, his stats are clearly above the average, very solid servant. Um, anyway, this was Rama. Next video will likely be about Moriarty, since I will be releasing it when the Gentleman event comes out. And, well, I hope you will uh, enjoy that one too. If you enjoy my content, leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. It really helps the channel out. If you have any suggestions, just say. I do look at comments, and I do look for suggestions. Um, until next time, bye.